we do know definitely that News International accessed the voicemails of Millie Dowler and that as a result they would have been deleted automatically, even if not deliberately at some point. What Mr Garnham says is that currently it's believed that Mr Mulcair would not have been responsible for those deletions, which led to the voicemails on the 24th of March, which is the time uh, when Sally, um, as she gave evidence, felt that false wave of euphoria because she had finally got through to her daughter's voicemails. Uh, and, and it is said that that is not uh, the result of Mr Mulcair because he was not tasked to use Mr Garnham's words until after the 24th. Of course, uh, I believe I understand the basis on which he says that, uh, but it doesn't mean that no one else at News International uh, was responsible uh, by another means for accessing those voicemails in that time. And indeed, we do know that there was a particular journalist at News International, whose name I will not mention, who was in possession at that time of Millie Dowler's mobile telephone number and PIN number, but not through Mr Mulcair. What we also know is that on the 24th of March, all of the voicemails in Millie Dowler's uh, mobile phone were deleted. That cannot be, as a matter of technical um, information, it cannot be the result of an automatic deletion, uh, which takes 72 hours. Because, of course, there were voicemails that had been left between the 21st, which is the 72-hour period when it starts, and the 24th. As you will recall, uh, Sally Dowler gave evidence that she repeatedly called her daughter's voicemail, only to find that it was full. So what we know as a result is that someone was continuing to access that voicemail between the 21st and the 24th and did delete those voicemail messages, which gave rise to, Ms. Dow uh, to Sally Dowler being able finally to get through to her daughter's voicemail on the 24th of March itself. If it wasn't the police, as is said, and it wasn't... Uh, the family of Millie Dowler, and it wasn't Mr Mulcair, then with respect, there are only so many culprits.